I have already explained how to solve simultaneous equations using the method of substitution. Now I'm going to use another method, which is the method of elimination. I can use this method when I have two linear equations that I have to solve simultaneously. So what does it mean? It means that we are eliminating one of the variables. So I'm going to choose which variable do I eliminate. I can choose to eliminate y or I can choose to eliminate x. So this is how you do it. You look at your equations and you say, if I choose to eliminate x, what should I do? So in my case, I'm going to eliminate x. I look here at the coefficient of x. This is 2. And the other coefficient of x. So this coefficient of x is 2. And here is a 1. There's a positive 1. There is a coefficient of x. If I'm going to eliminate x, I have to make sure that I have the same coefficient. So I should have a 2 and a 2. Or even if they have the different signs, but at least they should have the same magnitude. They should be a, a 2 or a minus 2. The same thing, uh, the same thing applies here on, 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 on y. This is minus 1 and this is 2. If I want to eliminate y, I should make sure that I have 2s behind the, the both of the y's. So how do I achieve that? In algebra, we are allowed to multiply by the same number throughout an equation or to divide by the same number throughout an equation. If we do that, we don't change anything really. So let, let me step back. Let me give my equations names. So this one will be, the other one will be equation one and the other one is equation two. So this is my equation one. This is my equation two. I want to eliminate x first. So to do that, I'm going to multiply equation 2 by 2. So I, I'm going to multiply here, multiply equation 2 by 2. All this, let, let, let me emphasize here, throughout, throughout. In other words, you multiply every term of equation 1 by 2. If I do that, I will get 2x plus 4y equals to 10. So I multiplied the x by 2, I got 2x. I multiplied the 2y by 2, I got 4y. I multiplied the 5 by 2, I got 10. So this is my equation 3. Now, if I want to eliminate x, I can simply subtract equation 3 from equation 1. In other words, equation 1 minus equation 3. This should give me, this should achieve the elimination of x. So let's go to the next step where we are subtracting equation 3 from equation 1. Okay, let me use a different pen here. So subtract, subtract equation 3 from equation 1. So I'm going to write, rewrite my equation 1. So my equation 1 was 2x, so it's 2x minus y equals to 4. This was my equation 1. And my equation 2 was x plus 2y equals to 5, but we converted it to be 2x minus oh, 2x plus 4y equals to 10. We are subtracting this. Okay, I'm going to put a minus here. Please don't, don't confuse your signs. Make sure you are using your signs correctly. 
your minuses and your pluses use them correctly so here if i say 2x this 2x minus the 2x i get a zero here which is what i wanted by the way so i've eliminated x and then this is minus y minus plus 4y which is essentially minus y minus 4y the answer will be minus 5y this is equals to 4 minus 10 that's minus 6 in other words we are simply subtracting like tens the x's are subtracting each other the y's are subtracting each other and the constants are also subtracting each other so i have minus 5y equals to minus 6 i have eliminated my x that's what we mean by the method of elimination i managed to eliminate the x so i have minus 5y equals to minus 6 which means y is equals to minus 6 over minus 5 which is 6 over 5. this is my y if if my answer is required to three decimal places i punch my calculator and i round off so six divided by five that's 1.2 so this is 1.2 i have my y once i have my y i can find my x using the method of substitution in other words i'm going to substitute my value of y into one of the equations in this case i'm going to use my equation two so i'm going back to equation two and i'll substitute 1.2 so i have y equals to 1.2 but i remember i had an equation two that would say x plus 2y equals to 5 so x plus 2y equals to 5 this was my equation two now I can substitute my y into this equation too so that I can have x. So this is x plus 2 by 1.2 equals to 5. This means x, right? Let me not rush. So this is x plus 2 times 1.2, 2 times 1.2 that's 2.4 so it's x plus 2.4 being equals to 5. it means x is equal to 5 minus 2.4 i punch in my calculator 5 minus 2.4 and the answer is 2.6 This is my x. So I now have my x and my y. y is 1.2, x is 2.6. So x is 2.6, y is equal to 1.2. I may want to check my answers, which you should always try to do because sometimes you make mistakes, you make errors. Try to check your answers. So I'm going to use one of the equations to check if if my answer was correct i'm going to use equation one which says 2x minus y so it was 2x minus y is equal to 4. this was my equation one so i'm going to substitute x and y into my equation one and see if i get four so this will be two times 2.6 minus 1.2 i punch in my calculator if i don't get a four it means I have made a mistake. If I get a 4, it means I'm correct. So times 2.6, 2 times 2.6 minus 1.2. The answer is 4. This means my answers are correct. This is the method of elimination. Quite a very straightforward method. Let me do another example to illustrate this method once again. You, you will find that sometimes the method of elimination is actually the best method to use in that case. Usually, it is the best method to use. So, um, I'm going to do another example, which I'm using the method of elimination. In this case, I have 2x minus 3y 
equals to 4. So this is my equation 1. And the other equation is x plus 5y equals to 12. I want to eliminate one of the variables. It's either I eliminate x or I eliminate y. Guys, when you're choosing what to eliminate, try to choose something that is convenient for you. If I look at this question, it's quite easy to eliminate x because I can simply multiply equation 2 by 2. Then I'll be having 2x in equation 1 and 2x in equation 2. I subtract the two equations, I get, I get rid of x. I can do that. If you want to eliminate y in this case, you have to multiply equation 1 by 5, then you multiply equation 2 by 3. See, if you want to eliminate y, we multiply here by 5, so you multiply this by 5, you multiply this by 3. If you do that, you end up with minus 15 here and a positive 15 here so minus 15y and 15y once you have that you can simply add your equation one and your equation two to eliminate y it's, it's not the best method to use here but i'm going to do that so that i just illustrate that you can you can eliminate whatever you want so i'm going to multiply equation five equation equation one by five so this is equation one and this is equation two I'm going to multiply equation 1 by 5. If I multiply equation 1 by 5, I will get 2x. No, 2x times 5. This is 10x minus 15y equals to 20. Let me call this equation 3. Then in, if I multiply equation 2 by 3, I will get 3x plus 15y. equals to 36 3 times 12 that is 36 let me call this equation 4 to eliminate my y because the the sign here this is this is negative and this is positive as long as you have different signs all you have to do is to add the two equations if you have the same sign subtract the two equations I'm going to add equation 3 and 4. So I'm going to use a pen here. So I'm going to plus. I'm going to use a plus here. I'm adding equation 3 and 4 to eliminate y. Now, like terms, we, add, we, we can only add and subtract like terms, by the way. So 10x plus 3x, I get 13x. So this is 13x. And minus 15 plus plus 15 it becomes a zero so y goes away we eliminate our y and we add the constants which is 20 plus 36 so 20 plus 36 that is 56 so this is 56 now to get our x we simply divide by 13 both sides so x would be equals to 56 over 13 okay use your calculator 56 divided by 13 that's it, it remains 56 over 13 which means if we if we're looking for an exact answer it it is just uh 56 over 13 but to three decimal places this is 4.308. So this is 4.308. Okay. I have my x. I can now use equation 1 or equation 2, even equation 3 or equation 4 to get my y. I simply substitute x into one of these equations. I'm going to substitute x into equation 2. It's quite convenient for me to do that. So x plus 5y equals to 12. That is my equation 
2, so x, x plus 5y is equal to 12, but I know my x is 56 over 13, okay, plus 5y equals to 12. Use your calculator so that you don't get lost. Um, 5y is equals to 12 minus 56 over 13. So 5y minus 5y is equals to 12 minus 56 over 13. I'm going to use my calculator to to find 12 minus 56 over 13. That is 100 over 13. So I have 5y equals to 100 over 13. And to finish the whole equation, I divide by 5 both, uh, both sides. So this is, this is y is equals to 100 over 13 divided by 5. You punch in your calculator, you get an exact answer. So you just divide this by 5, you get 20 over 13, 20 over 13. So we have our answers for x and y. We have our answers for x and y. x is 56 over 13. So x is equal to 56 over 13. And y is equal to 20 over 13. Um, I said to two decimal to three decimal places. 20 over 13 to three decimal places is 1.538. This is 1.538. And 56 over 13 to three decimal places, that is 4.308. So this is 4.308. Those are my two answers for X and Y, exact answers and answers rounded off to three decimal places. I may want to check if my answers are correct. All I have to do is to substitute into one of the equations. I'm going to substitute into equation two. No, let me use equation one. I'm going to substitute into equation one, which says two X minus three Y is equals to four. So this is two X minus 3y is equals to 4. I, I'm just going to substitute my x and my y. So this is 2 times 56 over 13 minus 3 times 20 over 13. I punch in my calculator. If I don't get a 4, it means I would have made a mistake. So I should get a 4. So that's 2 times 56 over 13 minus 3 times 20 over 13. The answer is 4. This tells me that my answer here is correct and my answer here is correct. I have used the method of elimination to solve two linear equations simultaneously and that's it so if you guys have got any question or if you have any comment just type in the comment section below i will respond to you otherwise give a thumbs up to the video subscribe to the channel and keep watching the videos thank you